Happening now on Capitol Hill, the House Oversight Committee is holding a hearing into D.C. crime and policing. Republican Chairman James Comer called the hearing, quote, overdue oversight of the capital city. D.C. council members, the police union president and D.C.'s chief financial officer are all testifying. Congress just overturned D.C.'s criminal code and Republicans are also expected to question police reforms passed by the D.C. Council after the death of George Floyd. The opening statement from Comer and Council Chairman Phil Mendelson painted very different pictures of D.C. Crime has risen dramatically, education levels have plummeted, and the city's finances are in disarray. D.C. officials have not carried out their responsibility to serve their citizens. Let me be clear. People should feel safe, and it is a problem that many residents of the district don't. But the number of violent crime incidents in 2022 was 45 percent lower than a decade earlier, and total violent crime last year was 7 percent less than the year before. I know this belies the common belief, and when it comes to crime, how people feel is important. But there is not a crime crisis in Washington, D.C. Dozens of people rallied on Capitol Hill this morning ahead of the hearing. The Hands Off D.C. coalition says overturning local laws threatens the rights and safety of residents who live in the district. News Force Dominique Moody joins us live with more on the group's message. Dominique. Yes, Erica and the group, they began marching through the streets shortly after 9 o'clock before making it here to Capitol Hill. In addition to that, their message to the Oversight Committee is allow local leaders to make decisions inside of the district. Hands up, D.C. Loud chants and large signs filled Pennsylvania Avenue on Wednesday morning. Hands up, D.C. The echoes of opposition from the demonstrators started an hour before House Republicans were set to sound off on D.C. leaders. Tell Congress to get their hands off of D.C., um, to mind their own state, and for folks across the country to be aware of the attacks of right-wing extremists. The Oversight Committee calling into question crime and safety in the nation's capital city. The district's policing reform legislation and the criminal code changes, which were struck down by Congress. They've overturned one law and now they're trying to overturn another. And it's important that D.C. residents know these are the reforms that people asked for. This is what democracy looks like. The coalition also says leaving their future in the hands of Congress threatens the rights and safety of those in the district. Anna Rondon is a lifelong Washingtonian and believes D.C. leaders who are elected should make decisions for the city. Um, Congress always want to be on top of everything. We Washingtonians, we pay the taxes. We pay more taxes than all of them. And also, they are not from here. Hands up, D.C. We need more resources. Hands up, D.C. And the coalition, they actually march to just outside where the hearing is taking place. And they say they plan to be there for the rest of the afternoon. Back to you, Erica. Right. Dominique Moody live for us this morning. Dominique, thank you.